Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the Inferno and our journey through the Inferno in what is actually a lush green pasture. Now it's been a couple of months, it's been some time since the first episode uh, was recorded um, and I've spent a bit of time going back over where the game state was up to to try and refresh my memory and I'm beginning to remember why I put it down is because the game is kind of well fallen into this kind of you could do anything state and it feels like whichever move we make will be fairly impactful. We've got a very, very big empire very early on, but we have terrible heroes, well, no, no disrespect to Fiona and the others, and we have a really ragtag army and really underdeveloped towns. Um, what remains is, it's, there's three of us, there's blue and purple, and they're in this landmass here on the mini-map that you can see where I'm hovering my mouse, and we've got these three regions here, as you can see, the one that's out on the right hand side here is connected by a portal that Josephine is standing on and it connects to the snow realm which is over here um, and it's been a bizarre journey where we've just we, we, we fought a couple of really massive defences at our hometown at the Inferno uh, most recently Iona the blue hero came in here flagged this stuff very very arrogantly and then promptly you know committed suicide at the at the walls of the Inferno um but even though we've, we're in the Ascendancy, we're the most powerful faction, we're very thinly spread. So, um, yeah, it's a real head-scratcher as to what to do next. And, and then I literally subconsciously scratched my head as I said that. Um, the other thing is that I've uh, started wearing glasses. So I got these uh, a month or so ago, and they, help, uh, they are helping me a lot uh, with my gaming. I'm getting less sore eyes and stuff. So, well, just a little life lesson for you guys. Um, if your if your age starts with a four, um, and you're getting sore eyes from playing uh, the same game for 25 years, <laughs> uh, think about uh, getting your eyes checked. Think about maybe whether uh, th this is only a plus one and a half, um, but I have contact lenses as well that I've worn for a long time. Anyway, you guys don't need to know all of that detail. Uh, in the last couple of months, I have been very addicted to Warhammer Total War, and I keep pushing W A S and D to move around the screen, and it doesn't work. Uh, so if you see me randomly pull up menus um, at the wrong time, that's because I've stupidly pushed uh, the W key, probably. I think I've decided... I had a little bit of a scout round before I hit the record button, and I think what I'm going to do is uh, consolidate. So I'd be tempted to push in here with her good scouting. Fiona's a really expert scout, we can have a look around. But we kind of know what's here, because we know the pattern, the way the map has generated the five starting locations. Everyone gets a gold mine, okay? and everyone gets a small piece of land and a connection to the underground, but the guardians of the underground are all very, very strong. So we've got lots of vampire lords here. I don't know, I assume that's a big pile of genies. Um, this one here is lots of wyverns. So I'm tempted to sort of say, look, I'm going to leave blue and purple to it, and I'm going to try to consolidate, maybe even try to kill these wyverns. One good thing about doing that would be unlocking this extra gold mine, which could make quite a lot of difference. Uh, but we don't want to throw our, throw our troops away. You know, we've got like a week's worth of pathetic troops. The 29 Cerberus are quite nice. But nothing else. Like, everything else is dodgy. Right? Uh, so I think what I like with Fiona is to just stick around. She doesn't have wisdom. I just checked that before, so can't learn forgetfulness. But we could do this. We could flag the crystal here. Try to get her ready to face the... Wyverns. Uh, there are some troops in here, but Josephine can get them. So we'll start with that, and that'll be our first move in what has been a long time. More Mercury is going to be pivotal as we try to grow our Inferno. Um, and I'll make my way up here to do this job. Josephine, one thing you could do for me is I don't think we got all these obelisks. No, we didn't. Okay, so, so we're just doing some housekeeping. A little bit of just... Let's just see where we are. We know we're in the Ascendancy economically. We've got the best long-term prospects for future growth out of the three factions. Ooh. Do -do -do -do. So, okay. So the Grail is somewhere out in the middle of the ocean. On an island, I assume. Did I get this one? I did. Okay. So how are my levels... Ch I hope this is... I hope this is all going to flow well from the previous video and that it's not too jarring that I look completely different or 
So you, you get a completely different person playing the game. It's like, who the hell is it? Uh, did we find out what that seer wants? We didn't. What do I want to do? I could push it into here. I'd like to know if there's anything there. Uh, like, can we just... How close are we to Blue's hometown? I want to know that. Uh, so one way to find that out would be to send a bit of an expeditionary force. A very low-risk expeditionary force. Right. Something like this. Send Rakshar out there. Does he have any artifacts? He's just an idiot, right? Level 2. The heroes are all so weak and so new... Newbie. See, I think... Who's this guy? Axis? Level 3? Let's have a look through our heroes. We've got... Even Fiona, our starting hero, is only level 4. It's the end of month 1. Expert scouting's okay. And she has learnt blind, which is awesome. That's actually quite good. Tiva is out on the water. She, I think, was a prisoner. I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure she was a prisoner. But looking at her skills, I've forgotten how bad... Like, Eagle Eye is her specialty, and she comes with Eagle Eye. First aid, but she doesn't even have a first aid tent. Like, archery with no archers. <laughs> Need I go on? She's out on the water. Axis is... A, well, Basic Estates is okay. Josephine's... And, like... Like, these... They're, they're nobodies. Artifacts are okay. This is quite a good artifact. And Josephine, I'd forgotten, has these. These are great. Boots of Speed. I really... Oh, I probably messed up. I should have given... Fiona the Boots of Speed. So I'll try and do that tomorrow. Do this. Come galloping back up. Yeah, we'll give her the Boots of Speed. Um, but I think for Raksha, I'm going to... Which one do I want more? Crystal or gems? Looks like crystal. Okay, I'll get the crystal. Now, I think the ink... Imp, ink cache? Imp cache has been visited. I'll just pop down here first. And I think I like for Axis... Axis of Evil. Yeah, we'll start to tool up. I guess knowledge. I guess. Doesn't feel like there's a strongly right or wrong choice when he's all starting from such a bad starting point. Um, okay. Now, the Inferno, I think, is our best town. If we have a quick look through, we've got City Hall and Castle. Conflux is City Hall and Citadel, I think that is. And Hermit Cove, so Wazar. And Hermit Cove is a Citadel and a... So the Inferno looks to be, it's got level 5 creatures, the other two only have level the same. We do have Wyverns, but that's not a big deal. Um, so I think we want to invest here, because we've got the castle. And we have enough money for the capital, so we're going to sit back, we're going to go vertical. We're going to hope for no combats, and see if we get away with it. That's my strategy. There's blue... I'd forgotten. Who's, who's that blue guy? Go back. Hang on. You can replay the turn, can't you? So, yeah. The, okay, so Grindon is a nobody. I think but I think all three of us have big armies full of nobodies. Who is this? Oh, that's not a nobody. That's a somebody. Okay, that's easily the best army on the map. Yeah. That's like, a, that's like three weeks worth of... A horde of archers? Why haven't you made the marksman, I wonder? The AI doesn't know the marksmen are awesome? What is that? Do you get an archer? He's got an archer's tower and he's used it to make a horde of only archers. Maybe that's what it thinks. It thinks to itself, oh, I won't bother because I've got an external dwelling. Is that a rule? Does the AI never upgrade its creatures that it has an external dwelling for? I never saw that. The Knoll's Flail? I probably saw it Last time I played, lots of dwarves guarding a Knoll's Flail. Yeah, no, I would have, because I think Tiva came down and found that. If I remember all this, man, like, oh. can't do. I can't let this happen again, and I apologise. Like, you guys are watching it, having just watched episode one, going, Ugh. Get with the program, Paul. We already knew this. It's old news. And I'm here going, oh, guys, I just figured this out. Look at what this cool thing. I turn my audio off. I can't quite hear. Oh, there I hear, I hear the birds chirping now. Hopefully, hopefully the levels are okay for you guys. Uh, those of you watching at home or at work, if you should be working right now, um, 
Well done for getting your priorities right. Um, now, get the knowledge. The Imkesh almost surely was done by Iona. That's not a surprise. Now, can I just gallop through here? Can I just gallop through? There's the town. No, okay, I can't. So, that route that they took before is the only route. That's quite nice to know. So, to get from their town to our town, you've got to go all the way around and down and through, right? So, that's a two day journey, even for a very good hero. A very fast hero. Alright, let's do this. Could get in a boat. What's out here? Can't remember what that does. Do you have to fight some undead on it, buddy? Access. Do I want to stand here all the way until day one? Doesn't really matter. I think I'd rather level them up a bit. And we're going to want to flag that, so I can come back up later. Josephine. Uh, please give me the boots. Right. That you should have given me earlier. And then she's going to be like a messenger hero. Yeah, give me these. How did I miss that? It's because they're kind of camouflaged against the backdrop. I can't quite see. Fiona's going to get the extra. Is it Mercury? Crystal. And I do have to pursue for the experience. Sorry that this fight is boring. Um, I can I can sense you all. That sounds like I said, I, I can sense you all, I can sense you all. I can sense you all scrolling, you know, your finger along the iPad to get past these combats where it's like, I've clicked yes, and because I like to watch the animations, all the animation speeds are slow, so you're watching a really crappy clump of utterly doomed monsters um, getting their butts kicked. So I know, I'm sorry for that. Some of you, on the other hand, I'm sure, have this sadistic thing going on where you can't wait to see, you know, uh, the utter slaughter of these hapless morons. Um, as well. And, um... I get that. You know, I get that. Um, I've just played this a bit stupidly. I uh, just want to make absolutely sure there's no unnecessary... Spell points or troop losses? Yeah. Okay. Bada boom, good old Cerberuses. It's a bit of a shame Fiona's stuck out here miles from the Inferno, unable to keep piling into Cerberuses. Cerberi? That's a bit annoying, actually. Um, do we think she could kill the. Lots of wyverns. I don't have any more troops there for her to do it with. So the question is whether or not that army she has is enough to beat lots of wyverns. Too ambitious? Wait for another day? Another day gets me what? How many more basilisks? It'll get maybe six wyverns. I'd have six wyverns of my own. She has blind? Lightning Bolt won't do enough. Yeah, Lightning Bolt does 60 damage or something for her. I can't fight them yet, can I? I want to try to square that off. Is it possible to connect her up with the 10 Cerberus that are here and the others that are coming? It would be a shame for the Cerberus to die. She's done that job. She's going to come back through the portal. Before she goes, Josephine is going to grab from her anything with a fortress label on it. I'm not ready to dismiss this fire elemental because I 
Wonder if we might end up buying some sprites and stuff with Josephine as well. Just please someone remember, even though you guys can't help me because you're watching in the future, that this exists and we don't have we have two town we have two town types needlessly going on. It's a bit annoying. Um yeah, so Fiona, we're gonna build her into something proper, a proper inferno hero that can go around and win the actual game. But she's not she's a long way from that, right? She's nowhere near that yet. Um, when she's back over here, she's gonna get the sulfur. There's something for her to do, so that's fine. Sorry, I'm jumping around the place. Um, can I also unflag the open up the um, altar of thought? I might be strong enough to do that just with this. It's it's really hard to figure out what to do in these situations to get it to get it right. Now. Where are we? 23 Mercury, and I want to build this up. This is going to take 20 when we get this one, 3. So I'm going to spend all my Mercury on the buildings. How much Mercury am I printing for myself each day, you ask? Why can't I right-click and you tell me that? What if I have to push to find out my Mercury income? 3 Mercury a day, that's just not bad. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're building the Inferno into a good Inferno. All right. Fire Lake, I'm thinking about the Forsaken Palace tomorrow in time for week one. Who is my, what are my options hero-wise if I did want another hero? Solmir, is he gonna get a chance to do his thing though? Does it matter? Oh, vampire, Vokial is vampire. I was thinking, <laughs> Does Vokial to you guys look like Steve from Accounting at Halloween? Do you know what I mean by that? Like, he just looks like a guy dressed as a, dressed up as a vampire. Whereas Solmir looks like this fantastical, you know, Lord of Thunder kind of thing. The artwork, I mean, I don't know. There's something about it. Um, I'm not dissing it. It's um, dissing the artwork. It's just. Um, it, I think it might be the expression he's pulling as well. I was like, did you get that report finished for, you know, the end of the quarter? You know, he's standing next to the photocopier on Halloween. Um, maybe it's not a thing, I don't know. Do I want to hire him now? Why would I hire him, you say? Well, one reason is that f I don't want Fiona to have to come all the way back home. No, I don't really want her to have to do that. Um, I'm going to have a complete complement of all of the Inferno. So there's no Conflux stuff I'm going to be buying? So why am I doing this Altar of Thought then? Um, yeah, I'm not, right? I don't. I hate the Elementals, they all, they're all just terrible. So I'm just going to leave the Conflux to rot. I don't care about it, and that means I don't care about the Altar of Thought that much. Stockpiling tons of Fire Elementals and turning them into Energy Elementals? Nah. Maybe it's a thing. Maybe I could get energy elementals going. But I need to buy a castle here. And I don't have the resources for that. So two and a half grand on Solmi is probably a waste of money. Let's see. Yeah, see, they're doing very consolidating looking moves themselves. Ooh, okay, so what's the cracks I have? Can I get in and see your base? Okay, it's not very well guarded. First observation, you've been here this week. I'm actually going to push up with Rashka, even though... Oh, there's land here. Land ho. Is that where I, is that where my map currently is? If you look at that rectangle there, where my re map is... Can you guys see? I don't know. <sighs> Ooh, is that... Is that near here? Like, could it be up here? Kind of thing? Hang on, say about there? About here somewhere? Can he learn third level spells with basic wisdom? He can. Do I have any scholars? Oh, he's a scholar as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in there. I think that's worth doing. Oh, yes! Q. 
jackpot. Tiva. So, a bit of a train wreck, really, Tiva, aren't you? Uh, let's do this. So she was going to do that. How do I kill lots of wyverns? I do it with tomorrow's troops. So I'm going to get myself ready for that. I could do it with some thought elementals. I couldn't I? Why couldn't I? You ask. And the answer is because the thought elementals will cost money that you could be spending on... meant to be. Look at that. There he is, my first one. Ooh, baby. Devils are a great way to kill wyverns. They're a great way to kill everything. Which begs the question, okay, if, I'm, if I've bought the devils, what am I doing with the rest of my soldiers? Axis is here, like an idiot walking around with water elementals. Why do you still have water elementals, you fool? This needs to be flagged. Come down, do this. You're an idiot. Why are you carrying them around? They're going to get in my way, aren't they? They're going to be a pain in the backside. Why do I have them? How did I come by nine... I'll have to watch the first video back. How did I come by nine water elementals? Did I buy them? I must have actually chosen to buy them over here, which is just sad. Paul of two months ago, what were you thinking? Maybe he did it for a good reason, I don't know. Ah, uh, there's no weekly... Things I need to do really with Josephine. Here's the thing, Josephine would benefit from having thought elementals, and I could build the altar of thought. Start stack stacking them up and for and that that could matter. And the fire elemental thing as well, like I could have I could do that. I could see doing that. My only concern is if a hero comes galloping through here and I'm too far away from the fortress to defend it. I could give you the troops, yeah. Why, why take a chance? Right, why take a chance? Come through and help me. Give me the soldiers. I'll set you up. I'm going to have to walk on the snow, though. And then you're going to have to come with me to get the army back again? Oh, this is probably stupid. Yes, I wish to fight the guards. Six of them in one stack, and I think you'll find... Yep, blind is a mind spell. So, slow, however, is on. So instead of moving seven, they move five. That should be enough for me to... Did he have morale? No. So we're just waiting everywhere. You boys have to move your five. Slow's not very good with no magic skill. It only took seven down to five, but it should be enough to matter. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Bloody thing. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think I'm just going to run away with my other soldiers. Right. How far can Basilisk move? That seems pretty good. Movement six. Oh, that's the necklace. Yeah. I'm going to move this, this turn and start shooting the turn after. If they try to attack the first A-10, I don't care. Um, might get morale. No, I can't get morale. Okay, doesn't matter. Right, wait here. You're still slowed. Wait. Wait, 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 people. It's still rather scary, though, isn't it? So, I get to cast another spell. What could I choose this time? Bloodlust, my dogs. 60 damage to the top. Yeah, isn't enough to really matter. Bloodlust, the bassies. Don't need to yet, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 1, 2. So we can't get to anybody. So I think I will bloodlust the dogs.
I think I said in the first video I'm going to ban myself from casting Bless on any Inferno troops just because I have a flavor objection thing going on. I'm just going to do this. I don't think I'm going to lose a dog. <gasps> Only one died. Oh. Oh, was that a min roll? Was that the min roll of all min rolls? Three lizard warriors perish. That stinks. Okay, so one of them will die, and his crackback will not kill a basilisk. That's what I'm saying. The crackback won't. Oh, but it might kill a. Does he hit all the squares? Do the psychic elementals kill or attack everything around them the way the magic ones do? I don't know. Petrifying uh, trigger is nice there. If I do this, what happens? Does he wake up and have a go? I don't know. Not gonna risk it. 11 to 27 isn't enough, but I can just kill him with the dogs now. Yeah. <clears throat> Three lizard warriors and quite a lot of spell points. I have a funny feeling that was a bad fight by me. But I never profess to be any good at this. Defense skills, all right, I suppose. Now, surely I'm not supposed to intentionally choose mysticism. I'm not going to do that. Yes, after all that. Right, okay. Yeah, between the two of them. Hmm. It's a bit tricky. Don't mind telling you, it's a bit tricky. Just looking around here. Okay, alright, we'll hand over. Wait a second. Should I build the psychic town here? Three grand. Garden of Life as well? I didn't see that. Yeah, I might go Garden of Life. Start building up sprites and elementals. And eventually do this as well. Mercury again? Seriously? Alright, Garden of Life's an easy one. Grand, just do that. No. I should have done that before. It's tight here. I just really don't want to see a big hero come galloping down towards the fortress here, please. What did I just say? I earn her again? Oh no. Oh, she's come with. She's come well rested today. 75 spell points. Learned your lesson, did you, babe? Oh, look, am I even going to bother fighting this? I got nothing. I can't do anything. Slow, shield. The imps won't do any damage. I'm just out of here. I might even. Do I even care about Raksha? Do I need him back? How bad? How badly do I want him back? How good was he? Let's have a look. I always get the buildings mixed up. Tavern. So he's level 2. Speciality Efreet. Scholar. Maybe he's kind of useful. He is level 2, I guess. I don't, zombie is awesome, but I'm not going to use Chain Lightning that often. I'm not, he's not going to get leveled up. He's not going to become my primary hero. Oh, that's, that stinks, though. Then again, I only get revenge. That's okay. She's way away from coming down. She'd get to about here tomorrow if she wanted to. So I have time to do this. To undo that wrong. This way. A horde of gremlins. Could be good target practice for him. A horde of gremlins. The only problem is if he's got some masters, but I do have um, 85 points of damage for us if he has a stack of masters, so I think that's worth doing that fight. Maybe tomorrow. What's the most efficient way? Edit. Sorry, my family came in just as I was about to ask that question. I'm trying to think of what the most efficient way uh, is to get the fire elementals up but keep Josephine near. I think I'm just going to be really inefficient and keep her back up near the portal. And I'm going to allow... Fiona to do the running around. Um, quite literally. Running around, doing this. 
Oh, I thought I would have to conquer. How about that? And I think then I can stand here, and I'll unlock all this tomorrow. Um, and I'll gallop back up and give these to her. She can pop down and do this, and pop into the conflux and get the... I think I'm doing this, right? Even so, it's gonna be, it's gonna take time and momentum off me, but it's okay. So there's gonna be some inefficiency in our moves. We aren't gonna be able to... Yeah, the key thing is really that I can quickly get... If a nasty hero comes galloping down here, well, there is a hero, a hero. I wouldn't call him nasty exactly that Josephine can get back and challenge him, or get back behind the walls. Um, maybe if she's standing here it would help. She needs to pull the trigger quickly and get the heck, get the heck back. Tiva, my most useless... Oh god, there's nothing here. You need either scouting... Oh, finally, something, Flotsam. You need other scouting or navigation on these heroes. You really do, on an expert. I think I've uh, ex extra large map, I think I've forgotten that. I think one final thought, Jerry Springer style, might be that I do bring that hero back, <clears throat> but bring him back over here. <coughs> Rashka. Even though his e freed ability won't matter, but it won't anyway. Bring him back here, and then he could be a messenger guy. I think that's okay. Yeah, this is fine. Um, it's not ideal. It just feels like a shame to waste a level 2 here. I have to start again with level 1. Um... Maybe it doesn't matter. But I feel like with that layout, with him there, he could get behind the walls with Fiona's army if he has to. Um, he could probably even be right down here on the gate. He could actually stand on the gate, maybe. Yeah, he could stand on the gate. Which gives her the opportunity to just hang out here. Does it actually matter? Can Fiona get up to this? Where can she go? Yeah, she could just do that. She could use the road. So I think it's okay. Alright, come here. There is this as well. I don't think I did this. Crypt. Although maybe it had already been done by Tan before I killed them. Alright, whatever. Day 7. What am I doing in here? Anything? No. So are there any other dwellings I want to get up? I didn't I want to do something in the conflux. Altar of Thought, yeah, I've done that. Okay, cool, alright. Well then. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh. Um, okay. So what's that going to mean? Serpent fly pop doubles. So are there any annoying new serpent flies? Here's one. Guarding my sulfur. Doesn't seem to be any other... There's one. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's blocking. Blue. And blue now has this hero and nothing. Okay. And then this one. So that means... Yeah, that's actually quite good. That's going to change the way things work in the east a little bit. I'm not going to have to worry as much about blue crashing back through here. Maybe. There's a bit of that. Uh, where else? Any other serpent flies anywhere? I was hoping there'd be one right there, but there isn't. There's one. Okay. Tivo, what can you do? Let's just do you first. Bada boom, bada boom. Okay, finally doing something for the team. I think I can do this fight as long as I have. Even if there's masters, I can bolt them. No uh, masters. Um. Eighty-five. So that's hundred and sixty. So I only kill half. I'm just gonna blind. Best spell in the game. Best combat spell. 
I think. Come down here, do a bit of this. Don't really need these little stacks, I don't think, for anything. Shoot them. Ah, just wait. Oh, you're not going to get Mirage, are you? That was probably stupid of me because they're all going to die to the demons anyway. Mm. One thing it's not clear from the interface is how long the blind will last with spell power 3. Oh, maybe it is clear. Maybe that's what it's telling me. That they're going to go first? Are they? I'm not going to risk it. Well, I think I messed that up somehow. But it feels like I didn't want to pay six imps to be able to see this obelisk. But there you have it. Okay, uh, not visited. We're, so it's day, day one. What can we do? So, it's going to be a while before I'm ready to... Like, 17 grand isn't enough to buy it. Three devils, anyway, isn't enough to do this job. L lots of wyverns is the task. So I'm thinking now it might be better to focus on psychic elementals, turn them to magic elementals. How many could, could I get if I do that? Um, so there's two this week. Fiona already has two. And there's six in base, so that's ten. I could have ten magic elementals. Combined with blind might be enough to get the job done and 29 Cerberuses. So with that in mind, let's do Fiona. Get that done. It's a little bit clunky. I think I'll just go to here. Get these. Get Fiona's ones, bring them back, because we'll have to upgrade them. Yeah, it is clunky. Um, now, I'm not upgrading these yet. Um, Fortress is going to be Josephine's business, right? Fortress is going to be Josephine's. Conflux and Inferno are going to be Fiona, but only... Mm, well, Conflux maybe gets shared. I'm just thinking about whether I want to risk any of these troops with the Wyverns. Uh, because they're such small stacks, they'll just be so easily preyed upon. I'm just trying to think in advance. I'll be back anyway. I'll be back to see you again shortly. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. And then we buy these. Well, do we upgrade? Can we upgrade? So how much is that? It's a lot of my money. Oof, they are so good though, these things. So, so good. Um, and then what I could do is this. It's actually not stupid. It, it really isn't. Fun times. We have fun, don't we? Might as well do this. Since I am the Lizard Queen. I'd like to get the... I'd like to get these, actually, now. 70 of them seems like it would be useful. Even against the Wyverns. So I could wait till tomorrow and buy some more stuff. Some more Conflux stuff, like I could buy some more sprites. And then she goes, Magic Elementals, she has 21 or something, 25, no, 36. So 26 Fire Elementals, 70 sprites, 10 Magic Elementals, and then the two Inferno Soldiers. Don't bother with the others. Clear the Wyverns, go underground, see what's there. Clear the dwarves. 
They could even do tag team because we have to clear the dwarfs and explore the underground and stay near the portal. Bother to find out what he wants. Could he do that? Did I find out what it was? Uh, no, I know, I didn't know. Alright, so I'm the defender of the realm here. I really am just hanging out though. Just hanging out, biding time. Axis, I think, now has time, right? He has time to muck around, so we can do this. Yep, may as well. Yeah, this is good, this is fine. Right, blue mucks about, what are you doing? What are you doing? Blue, 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 blue. Don't even bother. Opportunity to take a look at Edric again. He's back on land. He's not gotten any bigger yet. It's, I don't notice that this is a rampart. I probably should have. It's probably all pretty obvious from compositions. Are we even seeing that there's a rampart there? I should be paying more attention. Right, T Bear, can you give me some more money, please, love? What's this? Two next, you say? Maybe up here? Grab these. We have extra serpent flies. That shouldn't be forgotten either. How many more? Yeah, there's 24 in there now. That's quite nice, actually. Alright, so here comes the next big fight, right? If I win this, it's a pretty big deal because I unlock the gold mine. I'll probably have to fight something similarly mean on the other side of the gate, but we'll see. Um... Josie and the Pussycats. Uh, I can't actually carry everything. I want to get the... Ah, th not really worth it, is it? Not going to do enough damage. How much damage do they do? D does a sprite do? So I'm going to deal about two damage on average. Which is 140. That's two wyverns with no enemy retaliation. That's pretty significant. That's pretty relevant. That could be quite relevant to the fight. Alright, so I'm just going to leave them. I'll go to this because I don't have a stack for that. Like, it could get, it could get clunky. I'm not going to upgrade them for a while. I think it's more efficient for me to stand here in terms of moves. Am I ready for this fight? Oh, no, Fiona. 22 spell points, I've got two blinds up my sleeve. No, she stucked off it again, didn't she? Okay, alright, here we go. Give me these soldiers. I'll keep these. Or should you just take the whole lot? Three alignments. They're not going to be happy. I only have room for two. I don't want to waste the dragonflies. It's just these two. It's not enough. It doesn't make enough of a difference to the fight for me. I want to do it this in this configuration. Don't know, I can sit staring at it, couldn't I, for ever? And you guys just get so bored that you click on, you click off me and go watch some other video. That wouldn't be any good. That's not what we want. Is this crazy? Lots of wyverns. It's a lot of HP for me to chew through by any man's measure. Blind doesn't last that long with spell power too. Oh. Now I'm here looking at it, I'm having second thoughts. Ten magic elementals, come on. Yeah. 
is there any merit in blinding before they act? If I wait with everyone, I can see where they position themselves and then pick which one to blind. It might be correct to not blind the big stack, I don't know. We're both speed 7. So I can actually wait. I actually have the benefit of waiting. Gogs are the slowest thing in the game, so... Uh, I'll go for the smaller stack. He comes over. So, we have enough spell power for that at least. I don't know if this is a good move. It's my only concern that this might be wrong. You would think these guys should just melt. Uh, not melt, but you know what I mean. Like, not work. See what I mean here? I can't trigger retaliation. It would have been nice to... And then again, we've... Yeah, well, we've all got no retaliation except for the fire alleys. So they protect. They do this. Please do massive damage. Please do crippling damage. Not bad. And now that these have moved into range, I think I just gang up on them now. Yeah. Look, I have something to attack, so I'm just going to do it. Man, f the flying here on this map is awesome for them, with the ridiculous amount of obstacles. Okay. I don't want to get hit by that, but I'm faster than you. Yeah, I'm just going to have to take my beads here. Yeah, you should kill one. That's something. Okay, next turn. Um, yeah, I actually have two hastes up my sleeve. I might do that. Yeah, that seemed good. Right, wait here. You have a move. I'll let the wyvern monarch. What, what the wyvern monarchs are going to get a hit in. It's just the way it's going to have to be. I'm afraid. Does it matter if I'm alongside you? Should I tuck in here? No, that blocks access. There's no need to do that. Just come here. This should hurt. Lost one in retaliation? Such a dodgy attack. Like he's opening his robes. It's so creepy. Um okay. He's like, woo, check me out. I'm fighting this fairly kind of stupidly. Okay. Oh, oh 16 of the ladies go down. Damn. Yeah, go on, do this. I'm obviously not waking the monarchs up, but... First aid tents work on elementals who knew. Okay, that's the end of their surprise, but maybe they've done their job. They cost me like two grand. Yeah, I just utterly did. Um, now, nothing has any retaliation, so... It's this awkward thing I've got with these boys now. Um... Oh, you'll have to wait. Ooh, gross. Um, so I'll do that by just coming back to here. There's no hope of a moral flash. I can't haste. Blinding again would be an option. But I'm just... No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. I had no idea that was speed 11. That's so good. I just don't think it's worth wasting six spell points to haste my Cerberus. I'll have no spell points left for looking underground the next day, kind of thing. Um, yeah, no. I don't really want the Gogs dying just for the fun of it. Just in case these get piled up on... I'll just kill this. Right. So 
if I blind? I can't blind. Right, so all I can do is haste, and the only thing I can haste is this. And that's worth two, which is going to save me how many soldiers? Not, not enough, right? I have to just take these beats, lose seven. It's not what we wanted to see, folks. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to attack with this one sprite. Might matter. Does one damage? Yes, I wasted all of your time by making you watch that sprite if I can do one damage. And that's it, surely. No? Oh, and there's a retaliation! Okay, alright, now you did. Oh man, eight! I don't mind the others, I don't mind losing the complex stuff, I don't want to lose eight dogs. Ooh. Now there's a choice for you. I think it's pretty obvious what we take here, right? She's never going to be an amazing spell caster, this woman. Fiona, she's never going to be. You know, I just think armor is too good. It's just going to be valuable, print value for us over the long run. 5% reduction in all damage is the same as increasing all the HP by 5%, more or less. Yeah. Shame about the sprites. Shame about the dogs. I wonder if I should have sacrificed the gogs, let them attack the gogs instead. Let the wyverns hit the gogs. Might have been the right thing to do, actually. Now, I can't resist sticking my head down underground here and having a look-see. Please don't be the same fight again. Well, my composition is actually not bad for this. The problem is I need spell points. And look at the prizes, man. If I can hack through. The vampire's cowl isn't much good to me. But treasure is nice. Red dragon flame tongue. Red dragon flame tongue. What is that? Plus two to attack and defense, maybe? Ish? I can't remember. Pacaform demons I could probably beat pretty easily. But as it stands, not really ready to take these on. Yeah, I'm not fighting them today, I don't think. I mean, I want to get this, right? Yeah. We have to think about how, okay, so we have to think about when are we coming back to do the job. Lots of power liches, as I've found out, that's how you pronounce that word. Throng of imps, that's pretty straightforward, but I do want more troops before I, I don't want to take losses like that again. You know, I need a bigger critical mass before I come back here, even lots of swordsmen are going to hurt. If I had 20 magic elementals and 60 Cerberus, or, you know, seven devils to go with all this. You know, it would be a much more comfortable position. Um, okay, so let's just refresh our memories. We're okay over here. Tiva's doing her thing. You're there. Uh, the best thing to do is unlock this. Yep, so is there another way to do that other than just going for it and then wasting Fiona's time coming back here? I don't think so. A horde of dwarves is nothing to sneeze at, actually, either. Help enough. There really is a critical mass effect that happens with this game. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, thankfully there's no battle dwarves. What have I got up my sleeve? I can haste someone. I can bloodlust someone. Uh, so let's just try to kite this stack. 
get ready to attack it with the fire elementals once we have no choice kind of thing. That's the way this should go. Oh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spam. No. I'm not gonna spam with the one star. Sprites, it's just gonna waste everyone's time. Oh, that's great damage, wow. Six perish, I did not expect that. Um, I can just alpha this now, right? Because his friends can't help him. And the Cerberus are gonna attack again. Oh, that was a mistake. Got in his way, I bet. Yep. There's only six left. How much damage did I do that time? 126? 131? So I don't know if they might be max rolls or not, but who cares? He'll probably walk straight over this way. Which is really annoying. No, okay, he's coming down. That's good. Okay, so we'll do what we came here to do, which is... Fast cavalry move. Bloody kids, I keep getting interrupted here. Right. Um, defend, defend. He is going to kite. Kitage, kitage. Just shoot, man. Um, not quite ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite ready to commit with the fire Ellie's just yet. And we're just abusing the fact that they have movement three, which is just utterly pathetic. I mean, a unit with movement three on this, on a hit. For some reason, the dynamic is just so different. When you have movement four, you can take part in the game. When you have movement three, you're basically totally abusable. Like there's a gulf between movement 3 and 4. Um, right. That's an extra grand each day coming our way. Um, just go around him. I'm fine with that. Okay, so... Oh! Wow. What an exchange. Look at this. Whoever said Scholar was terrible? I wouldn't have even realised that, right? Because I mean, you're too busy as the player. You're too busy thinking about the layer of... You're not thinking about the knowledge layer of each hero. You're thinking about the armies and the... Yeah, Scholar is better than it looks, I think. On paper. Uh, that could incidentally end up being really important. He just taught her blind, I think. Like, that's a big deal. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even think that it would be a thing. I think I can afford to be really risky with him and just have one. Oh, no one's that stupid. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, come back through. You're going to be my messenger. And you're going to bring me... Uh, what is rightfully mine? We've been here, we've been here. We haven't been there. We're not going to do that, but we maybe do this. Maybe we've got time to find out what he wants. This guy's going to do this. I'm not spending any money in any buildings. Ifrit Sultans? Maybe. Horn Demons could be a thing as well, right? Because I've got the Demon Gate there. We've got 15 there. Plus 7. I've already got 22. So I've got 31 Demons that I could turn into Horn Demons. Uh, we could go for Pit Lords, although that's not... I wonder if Pit Lords raising Imps from the dead into Demons could be a thing, because I've got the Demon Gate. And then we keep the demons basic as basic demons. That's actually not bad logic. But 
that we would burn Mercury. And we need a Mage Guild level 2, which burns Mercury. Blech. Whereas this just takes 5 Mercury on its own. Okay, right, there's still all my Mercury though. I haven't bought the Devils yet. They take a Mercury each to buy. Yeah. So we need to be a bit careful with the old Mercury. What does it cost to upgrade the Demon Gate? So I think that answers the question, right? But I don't need to do it now. We can also talk about Magogs. I did a video talking about uh, a tier list video of all the creatures. I talked about how Magogs are F because I just never use them. And I got a lot of people pushing back on that saying, no, 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 they're actually quite good. Um, even in the vanilla game that we're playing here, The Shadow of Death. <sighs> but I don't want to spend that 5 Mercury on them anyway. So I might experiment with them later in the game, but um, I don't think we're doing that. Okay. Quick pit stop, we've done Teva. Okay, I'd just like to do a quick round the, round the houses before we sign off. I think it's okay. I think we're doing alright. Blue is out in the water. Okay, there goes the Knoll's Flail. That's nothing to be sniffed at, but they've got that. Decent army. Grindon now actually is a real boy. Grindon's a real boy. Teva is useless. Oh, who's this? Yeah, okay, that's Linus. Who is that? Nobody. Thane. Yeah, Thane's not going to be able to get anything done. We've just got this too well covered. Even in, uh, in a, I mean, even in a sneaky way. Even if you wanted to try to be sneaky. I'm just looking for flotsam. There's nothing here there. Pointless. Grab the demons and get your butt back down here. Come back. Obviously can't do it now. Um, do that. He wants the bird of perception. Where's my... I can see the list of quests, right? How do I do that? Quest log. It's a handy little menu where you can just check to see what all of your uh, objectives are. I don't have either of those yet. I haven't seen where they are. So that's okay. I often, does anyone else think that the prizes you get from fulfilling the quests aren't quite... It's like, oh man, I tried... I had to gallop across the galaxy to get to this to you. I just realised you guys haven't been able to see me. Sorry for the last 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know how long I've looked... How long you've been looking at the top of my head for. Oh, Family, man. Kids. Tell you what. Life gets in the way sometimes, but uh, it's all part of the journey. Right. Did we find out what he wants? I think there's no way Fiona's is not doing that on her way back up. I want the Pendant of Dispassion. In my younger days, I'd have done this myself, but I need your help. A friend of mine recently had a family heirloom, st heirloom stolen and wants to find it. Problem is, the pro I love this language. The problem is that it looks exactly like the Pendant of Dispassion. Why is that a problem? Why can't that sentence just be, it is the Pendant of Dispassion? <laughs> you know, the problem is that it looks like this thing. So can I bring you something that looks like it? Oh, I can. Please bring me any item that fits that description at all. Even if the artifact's not the heirloom, I'll reward your efforts. Why? If, if, you, were, if you wanted the Pendant of Dispassion, why would you send me off to get something that looks a bit like it and you'll still pay me even if it isn't the right one? Why have they worded it that way? It's not like in the game you can give him something different and he still gives you money. He says, oh, well, good try. At least you gave it a good try. Here's your money. Am I crazy? Seems odd. Just very odd the way that the dialogue's worded. I think she can stay put and we can just end the turn. We can just end the turn. Not, he's not scary. You're a nobody. What are these guys doing up here? So Grendon, having done that, he just stood there for a day. Iona has a design on coming back down, but I really think it's a bad idea for her to do that. And that actually doubles down on de demons, right? Staying put, staying where they are, because demons are great at sitting behind the gates and just being an absolute... She can destroy us at either one titan. They're up to titans now. Oh. Okay. Well, that 
does happen. I'm just going to make this a little easier to, to read and look at. Um, okay. So if I set off today, I have 30 grand to spend. So maybe the Gog should stay home. Learn to become Magogs one day, so it's just these three soldiers I'm giving. So I can actually just leave the stuff here that I'm not taking with. It's fine. Right. And then I'll be faster on the way home. Will I though? Because I'll have the imps. Oh, so it doesn't matter. What am doing here? I know that Fiona's getting the server right. We know that. We know that much. Devils have to stick together. Is now the time to buy them? Th is three enough? Or should I stay here with the devils and try to beat the liches? Liches. <laughs> I'll get it right. Should I try and beat the liches without them? So that I can steamroll into five of them tomorrow. Or next week, I mean. See, if these get to 10 and these get to 5, that feels good. It's 10 per week, right? No, 4 per week, sorry, yeah, so 10, 10 total. These guys will be at 5. 10 and 5 is way better than 6 and 3. Like, it's not in proportion. It's the snowball effect of this game, right? You want to get a big stack of whichever creature it is, by the way. All right, and, that, and it's these decisions that... Go for Sultans. Right. So Sultans would be really good against the Liches, right? Five Mercury? Burns the Mercury, but that's maybe okay. How much better are Sultans, really? Is it worth all these resources? I'm on the fence with that. I'm not actually convinced that that's worth doing. I don't want to waste a dog trying to get his movement up. I'm just going to keep imps in the army instead. I'll leave the rest of the stuff behind. It can all be recruited and just sit here, even without a hero. If it has to be. Yeah, this is right. This is right. We'll set off. Midweek. Rashka, get ready. Josephine, hold firm. Tiva, you stick. I've seen other boats up in this area and I'm worried that she's just a waste of space now. Is there any... You know one thing I could do with Tiva is try to sneakily grab that gold mine. Could grab this Mercury. Grindon's here though, he's going to be annoyed with me. <clears throat> anyway, Rashka, where, how far up will you get tomorrow? So he'll get to there, but he has moves in hand, so he'll probably get to about there. So, Fiona, come on down, babe. Um, let's just make sure of it. Okay, it's a nice daisy chain. We're ready to rock. All depends now on... Iona again. Is Iona? <sighs> yeah, she's got to beat the serpent flight. Yeah, okay, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's let's end the turn. Come on now. Who is that popping ahead out? Okay, yeah, here she comes. She's really got a beer in her bonnet, hasn't she? Didn't make it very far though. She only got up to the stone line. So by the time she, so she still can't get to me. I don't think comes here, conquers this, is she going to have enough moves to can do this job? I don't think so. I don't think this changes my strategy. I've, I've decided that I've got enough stuff left over. So I didn't quite get it right, but close enough. Rashka, grab. Do some teaching, man. Oh, love it. Boom, boom, boom. I'm still stuck with these slow guys as my guys. Mm. 
I'm going to just save some um, sprites. Sprites are the answer to that problem. Um, the camera isn't pointing to the top of my head anymore, no? You, still, you guys can still see me? I don't know if being able to see me personally in the corner helps the video, makes it more interactive and fun, I'm not sure. Um, oh, this guy Rashka. Look at him. He's travelled the lands far and wide. Gaining profound wisdom. Um, see there's some knolls in here. Are two knolls worth a couple of his movement points? Okay, maybe Fiona goes does her thing, then I'll think about defense. We'll do attack first and defense second. Just walk around it, I think, right? That's the lesson we learned. And we'll go hit the liches. So let's go have a look first. Okay, here they are. Lots of power liches. Now, what's the best layout here? I do have a haste up my sleeve. These have movement 10, which would go to 13. 12 might not be quite enough to get there. And then I have to decide what I'm doing on turn one with the Sultans. Oh boy, wish me luck. One stack. Okay. Can the devils get to him? No, okay. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think there's a really good way out of this. So... Don't know about this. Doesn't feel right. I'm losing too many doggies, I think. Um, on his turn. six dogs. I've got 150. There's a good chance of lo losing a sultan if I do this. Um, or I can just go wait and let all three of these do their thing instead. Which is what I'm going to do. Oh, it just feels better. Oh, there's no retaliation action. Two of them. Six dogs. Okay, six dogs and my spell points. Uh, now my rule of thumb is I don't take diplomacy because I just think it's the most busted part of the game. It's just, just far too good. Uh, and I'm thinking about, by the way, making a new rule after I've done since I did the tier list videos and talking to people out there. Town portal. I think maybe town portal could do could be self nerfed as well, um, as in. I'm not allowed to cast it or something like that. I'm not going to apply it this time, but it might not be relevant this time anyway. But yeah, diplomacy is just, I never take it because I just think it breaks the game. Okay. So she's an advanced armor. She is leveling up nicely. Now, the loss of the dogs stinks, but I'm going to get the sword first. Strolling through the underground, Fiona, with her expert scouting, spies a number, having defeated the liches, a number of powerful armies guarding incredible treasures. She's mentally exhausted, but 
which he decides to start with. A pack of horned demons, which can be probably kited. Yes. Oh, it's barely a pack, isn't it? Okay, so just kite factory. Uh, you may as well wait to. Why don't we all wait? This guy, I guess. Well, it's not going to matter. If I'm going to move. I'll be. Well, maybe I won't. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it will not. Pretty good. Yeah, and then we'll just kite next turn, right? Flash will be exceedingly annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Who is it? This guy? Oh, I don't need him. that animation man look at them sound effects too of the moving of the devil moving it's just so cool all right red dragon flame tongue let's see what it does as you are walking along a narrow path a nearby bush suddenly bursts into flames but first before your eyes the flames become the image of a beautiful woman she holds out a magnificent sword to you oh It was plus two and plus two. Well, that is handy. I'll take that. That is better than um, nothing. She had no other options in her right hand, so that's cool. Scouting's doing its thing here. Can I beat a pack of Dread Knights, do you reckon? No spell points. Yeah, not without taking some serious damn casualties. This is where the mysticism really would have actually mattered. It's a good example, actually. Mysticism would have mattered here. And what did I take instead? I took Expert Resistance. And she hasn't fought any heroes. Who have tried to cast anything on her. I'm just going to keep going here. The Throng of Imps isn't a problem. Why wouldn't I do this? One reason is that I haven't just rejigged. Um, yeah... So, this is a better looking setup, right? For something like this. Sorry, very boring. Everybody wait, wait, wait. Do nothing, do nothing. Shoot. Dudes. Well, Magic Ellie's are getting all the fun here. Still, that said, hasting our dog seems good. Hasting the magic elementals doesn't work. Hasting. Energy elementals could be good. I'm going to go for it. I'm trying to remember how many slots she has left. I don't know. I'm going to take it. Take the air magic. Lots of swordsmen will die. I will, I will kill them. Ooh. Oh, that's useful. That's the... I had that last campaign. That gives you longer duration. Which is exactly what she needs with blind. So that's really, really good. And I can actually fight this today. Any reason to change our loadout? I don't think so. Yes. 
Crusaders online, but um, uh, there aren't enough of them to be too scary. Terrifying unit um, in large numbers, but that's okay. Okay, sure. some no retaliation man I really do I can kill these two stacks this turn yeah. Yeah, let's try some e free how much damage are you gonna deal Shield action happening too. Yeah, 27 damage. Oh, yeah, you're not. Okay. Teeves, what can you do for us, babe? something up there. What was that, boy? Okay. So the answer is nothing. She can't do anything. Happy with this still. Money is getting interesting. So money... Oh no, hang on. I'm not happy. I've got to get ready for Iona. So I think we're ready to just start buying uh, the rest of the stock here, right? I'm tempted. I could make Magogs out of these now. I've got eight Mercury. Surely it's not one of I'm going for the uh, That's just the right thing. Do I need to pick fiends yet? I take a chance. There's 30 imps here too, I'll just grab them. Hopefully it won't matter though. He says. I don't think I had it can get to me. What's that army versus that? I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty safe there with that big pile of demons behind the walls if she's stupid enough to do that same thing she did last time. She is up for it? No, she's not. Okay, she just stands there. Maybe she ran out of moves though, I don't know. So we have an incursion from Picadram. He's coming back with a slightly better army, so that's okay. Alright, so... I mean, he still can't get very far tomorrow, right? Like, Josephine can only get to there, so Picadram's only going to be able to get to If she can get to here, he's going to be able to get to about there. Do I want to take that chance? Why would I? Of course not. I might as well just pop in here, get rid of you. Um, I'm not investing yet though, he can't get to me today. Tomorrow can he? Would he want to with this army? I've only got a Citadel. Okay, we'll have to buy some stuff. I'm 
not picking these in any particular for any ra rationale other than that there's meat and archery. Don't really want to invest here. I don't want to build a castle. So behind a citadel, can that be beaten? I mean, another way to look at it is I could try to just tool up and go and beat him in the open. Like if I lure him in and then ride out, sally forth. And I could do that by going for either of these two upgrades. That's a very cheap upgrade, isn't it? That's why dra dragonflies are so good. You can get to them so quickly and easily. Ten mercury, forget it. But for that one there, I could have me nearly 40 or 36 dragonflies. That's just bonkersly good. And what would they cost to buy? So all in, I'm looking at an investment of not very much to get all the dragonflies out. Yeah, so if Piggy Dragon's stupid enough to come in here, I'm going to clean his clock. Keep clicking as though it's Warhammer Total War. I keep getting it. Ah, I'm going to get stuck on the coast like that. Okay, well here's at least a landmass. I think he's going with a Teva just... Okay, okay, so this is the thing. Okay, so he's out of the picture. Axis is the sacrificial lamb. Seems good. Let's do that. Or I could get the XP before I go. The Mercury's more important. Do I have time to do that and that and come to here, go up to there? Yeah, I do. I, I do I actually have time to do this. And I'll take XP this time. Tactics. Beautiful. Oh, I've got to take the tactics. I'm taking it. I'm just going to take this. You manage to find a vampire's resting place during the day and are able to slay him easily. Just for good measure, you take his cow. Why not? Yeah, no. I don't know. It's just for in case we find a quest or something. Alright. Get ready to give me the army. You're a joke. Who are you again? Yeah, nobody. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing. I'm not getting the water. At least, okay. You are the sacrificial lamb. So you should be able to get there tomorrow. I'll move to here. Okay. So if she takes the bait, Axis dies. She comes here, flags this, kills Axis, and then I smash back with this against this. Oh, it's going to be messy, especially if she has tons of spell points. Or she could do the siege again, like she did before. I just think I've got enough beef here, unless she's got really good chain lightning type stuff going on. I think there's enough beef for the castle to hold. Yeah. And down here... Yeah, jo Josie's going to be fine. He's going to be absolutely fine. Ideally, he comes trotting down here and then we dragonfly him. Yep. So there's no need to invest. Is there a need to invest in the dragonfly hive now in case I also want to do wyverns? I mean, I'm never... This is so cheap. It's such a... It's such a low downside. What does this cost up, right? Oh my god, are you serious? And then what do I pay for them? Yeah, okay, yeah. So the capital cost of a serpent fly is actually solid, it's pretty it's, it's spicy, but the upgrade cost of getting to dragons is such a bargain. A thousand gold for the dwelling and practically nothing to upgrade them. And they're insanely good. For level three, you get a speed 13 and they cast weakness and dispel. Uh, damage two to five is maybe a bit mediocre for something at level three, but. Just their overarching stats and ability is just ugh, so so good. They're such a good unit. Serpent, dragon, dragonflies. All right, I think I've set this up the way I want. So let's see what Josie, what uh, Iona does. Yeah, what are you gonna do? 
Oh no. Who are doing the siege? And I'll pause here. I'll have to pause here and come back, sorry. Okay, pausing here, I'll be right back. Cool. Okay, so um, back. Sorry, tons of distractions here today. So I underestimated, uh, I think, here. I a few titans was anywhere from one to three, and she has three, which stinks. Um, Gargoyles and genies being able to fly over the walls. Uh, maybe I didn't really fully think about that. These guys don't care about the walls too much either. Um, so I think we might lose this fight. I have no hero to counter her. Her buffs, obviously. She's blinded these on turn one, which I'm not sure is the best use of the spell points. Um, I think if we lose, we're trying to cause as much attrition as possible to the army. Maybe hopefully kill a titan, maybe two. Um, that would be really good. So, depending on what she does after she's conquered the town. I see that wasn't great. I'll wait here as well. Will we try and hit the genies, do you think, with the pit lords? I think I will. Yeah, let's waste this imp to do that. So I've got two... Yeah, these two units are going to hit that. Um, and we don't want to give... Yeah, so if the genies land here and attack the demons, we're fine with that. Yeah, this is cool. I think genies are as good a target as any. Could go for the obsidians. We're only going to kill a few. I wish it stayed up to perish. That's actually quite good. Take a bit of that in the face. I do love the animation of um, the water elementals, how they slap the guy in the face with their tail. And a bit of tearing on the old gooey here. Only one perish is here, and this is the big payoff. Come on now, pit, lord, pit fiends. What can you do? Alright, that feels pretty good. So... Not bad, not bad. Okay, that's fine. Happy with that. Sure. 24 perish. That's a very nice move by them. Work the imps over. I think we just try to hold on here. How many of these are left? One with 15 spell points? Okay, we'll come up here to try and uh, deal with that next turn. Although the gogs are probably going to have to waste their turn killing it. Yeah, that's a shame. Although, hmm, when do these act next turn? It's going to be more of the same next turn. Oh, no, DHP, come on. Can we kill one? 28's not enough. Ugh. Seven. Twelve. Six of them go down. Good. Uh, I think it's just defense mode now for everybody, now that we're blinded. Yep. Okay, why not? Ah, uh, just hold tight. Let's see what we can get done before we die. Yes! Killed one. Alright. Might even get a second one here before the game's over. five of these. Now, is it worth it, or should I just defend myself? The question is, how quickly will the gogs... Oh, crap, I'm going to push... I need to move them just randomly there. Um, 
So they have about 250, 400 HP's worth. Oh, I'm doing massive damage to them. I think we go for this, right? 17 perish. And they kill none in the crackback. I, I underestimate demons. I sometimes get my perception of the stack size is wrong. Cure? How many HP did that, that, did that heal? He's back to full health anyway. Come on now, 49. Still four turns away before we kill the next demon, but man, uh, Titan, I mean. Okay, that stinks. That's so annoying, now he's gonna flat back up there. <laughs> All right, it's fine though, right? Like we just do this. any reason to stand here? There isn't, right? Like, if someone stands here, we're just going to line the imps up to get in their way. Um, he could stand here in anticipation, though. We're going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, let's just wait and see if either of them want to step onto the pattern. Okay, yep. So the answer is yes. Um, so, alright, let's do it, do it this way. That's okay, son. You just hold tight. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here because I think that's the only access point once they've killed that stack. The Titan anymore. Okay, no, we're in it. Now the Nagas are in. Although, when does she act? She acts next. So if she comes in and stands here, I could get some attacks off on the Naga Queens. Oh, that's a sad. Yeah, it's a good hit. Um, I've got my Impy Boys are going to trigger. That was a lucky catapult. That was a very lucky catapult. Um, yeah, don't do anything. Take the retaliation. You die. Not bad. Um, let's do that, it might matter. Hold tight here. Um, yeah, come here, do this. Okay. Oh, we're still not dead yet. Just a waste of shot. Okay. Yeah, in case I'm in short range, I'm just going to move back now. There's no point. Who do I want to go for these? I can do 10 to 20 damage. <laughs> <coughs> this is fine, this is actually alright because it saves the lives of the demons. You know, I might just pull this off. Not enough. And I act first? In fact, the gogs act before the golems. But these are just going to die, aren't they? 200 odd damage? Yeah. Your history, son. Okay, that stinks. Yeah, okay. Alright, well. 10 to 20 damage doesn't really seem like it's worth bothering with. Ugh. Ugh. You still got to kill 27 demons, you got no spell points left. That's a long way home. When do these run out of shots anyway? Shots 24, okay. I'm just staying back. 
all my arrow towers are intact. Grab that back at you, right back at you. Sunny boy, I've still got this water elemental by the way, you gotta kill her too before you take the town. I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win this fight. Unless they can kill the arrow tower, that stinks actually, losing four gongs a turn. Is there a world where I march out? No, surely. Into short range? Yeah, but I can deal. He's got defense 30 versus attack 10. It's going to be very hard to get anything done against them. I can... Yeah, I don't think I want to need them. I've got no reason not to shoot. I may as well do the 9 damage. You stay put. That's proper damage. Yes! Yes! Iona, you're committing suicide. You need to flee. Maybe she's worked it out that she can do one more turn of gog killing. Oh man, I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy that it worked out. Doing? You need to flee. We must flee. Oh, yeah. Really? She's gonna die. She's gonna. They, they, Blue is gonna lose Iona. I don't get that. I don't get that. Why would the AI do that? Why would it flee? That's annoying, like it's, it is a glorious victory and um, I'm very proud of it if I'm honest, but it doesn't make sense. Why would she stick around? Why wouldn't she flee instead of that last, taking that last turn? I'm going to eat a Maltese of chocolate here to think about it. Run off. Is I owner a he or she? I don't know. Alright, well with that victory. Blue is surely broken. Blue is a broken shadow of its former self. And it's ready to be conquered. So rather than wait around, you know, we can probably just gallop in here now. Well, then, yeah, it's day seven, so there's a new day one coming. There's a fresh set of three titans being hired back there, so maybe I shouldn't be too cocky. Hmm risk of cockiness is quite high. Alright, come on, Tiba. What can you do? Nothing as usual. Uh, so I can give access to the army the way we planned. Um, I don't need it to beat Uland, though. Silver Spy just feels like it's going to be open, but it is, it is day seven. And I think you could back them to have enough soldiers. That said, maybe we fight the soldiers behind their castle walls. We use our army. Right, I'll have six devils, ten Ifrit. Um, even though they stink. Okay, <clears throat> I have to make a decision about this as well. I can go and tag him now. Or I can wait till tomorrow. He might gallop back up here though. On his day 7 to go and refresh. It'd be nice to go and get him now, wouldn't it? Okay, let's do that. I think that's a more pressing priority. Happy to make that investment now. How do we, how do we match up? 36, 24 and 12. Uh, still a bit... On the tight side, six wyverns. Okay, I'll take six wyverns with me. Don't think I need these nulls though, right? Um. Oops. 
doing? In case it wasn't obvious. What am I trying to do? I'm mucking around here. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I trying to get done? Something like that. That's what I want. Alright, don't ask questions. Does she have a spell book even? Oh, she does. Okay. Oh, and she learnt a bunch of stuff off Raksha. Right, now this really matters. Look at this. Me blinding someone. <clears throat> I pick a dram. The time has come, my son. Oh, do I care? No. And he's got two alignments, so... Yeah, fair enough. So what do I want to do? Let him cast a spell and then I'll respond? Do I have any dispel and cure? I do. So if he does something nasty, he doesn't, he just waits. Okay. Uh, who has the ranged advantage? He's going to shoot first. Still no reason to act. Okay, that's actually pretty good. In a world of no morale, nothing matters. Look at these, they're all like... Existentially, just there going. Yeah, I'll just walk out and die. Like, it doesn't matter. What's the point of anything? They're like totally meh. Both sides just like swinging, the Noll's swinging his flail, like, yeah, it doesn't matter. I might die. You might die. We're all doomed in the end. What should I do? Should I move? I guess I should defend the lizard men, but this is in the way. I'm not going to be able to defend it with everything that. Yeah, well, the gnolls could, could, could walk down and. So that's what I'll do. I'll use all of these to defend the lizard men, and then these three are going to do stuff. Uh, there's no one slower than me. I guess I'll shoot the griffins. Oh, yeah, I'll shoot you. That has value. You come in, you might be of use to me. Right, you go down here. The basilisks are going to go here. Why don't you. Yeah, so these guys might survive the first hit from the griffins and then still annoyingly be standing there afterwards. Sorry, gargoyles, griffins, whichever way around, they are going to come flying over. Yeah, this seems okay. Oh, maybe not if all of these get to go first. Do you get speed 7? Right, so... I'm fast enough to... Yeah, what am I fast enough to do? Nothing. I'm speed 7 as well. I'm speed 9. I don't know what to do. I'm torn. Let's just plonk ourselves somewhere. I still haven't cast a spell yet. Neither is he though. Oh, you bastard, so I don't even get. You clever sod! Look at that. Oh! <laughs> Gorgeous! Well played, sir. I didn't even get a first turn. Very well played. That's a, that's, a, that's a ninja move by the AI. Brilliant move. <sighs> so I could blind myself, but I think it's better to cure. He's out of points now. He's a fire mage as well. That didn't cost him 10. Yeah, I think we just dispel, right? So when do they act? They act after the bassies now. I have 12 dudes... struggle to kill one of them. I'll kill about four of them. So I might just wait with you. Okay, what do you do? You cast witness on these, maybe? Don't want to be in range of him though. So if I go here, weakness these, I can go here. Again, it's unclear whether I'll kill one. Got six griffins and weaken them. That seems very good. Come in there if you 
wants to. But she's had her turn, so I'll act again before her. Yeah, I just like this. I like this. I just don't think these matter enough if this is untraveling. Very nice moves by the AI there. To deny me a turn one with the dragon fight, that was really clever. Um, do nothing. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh, I still have my turn here, so yeah, we can do this and be happy. Gargoyles will make contact. It's all right. What? Yeah. It's not perfect, like, I mean, because the Cavaliers get an extra turn, if I end up lining them up, you'll be stupid. Oh! Oh no, that was retaliation. So that happens, that happens. There's one stone. There's that. He had a magic arrow up his slip. That's gonna hurt. Oh, yeah. And that's also going to hurt. How many died? Six. Jeez, they're so good, man. Naga Queens. Good God. <sighs> Probably not. Just finish these off because... Oh, I didn't even finish them off. Okay, well... Let's move oh, I didn't know they could get in. Oh, can I shoot? No, <laughs> I can't shoot. Oh, I really can't shoot. Oh, no, they've woken up anyway. So, that's an untested thing. I just don't know the answer to if I act first, my guys have naturally come out of the blind, so that's very nice. You're out of spell points. Now, are the girls off all turn next turn? I think yes, right? Speed 7? I uh, can't tell. So they might be back on next turn, I don't know. And uh, that's very good, but... Wyvern stand here. Yeah, we're gonna try to keep the little dragonflies alive. The weakness is very, very good on those. So the weakness, that's cool, cool that weakness is actually in play before um, they retaliate. So that's another really important thing about dragonflies. Oh, this is gonna be a tough fight now. We got two left. No, okay, so being standing next to someone who is petrified doesn't allow you to shoot. I think I'm gonna lose this fight now. Ah, oh, they're awake. It's just not enough, is it? I can kill a cavalier. They're petrified. What can I do down here? Could she come around and hit me if I go there? She could. I don't want to wake them up. That would be pointless. Kill the cavalry, yeah. Retaliation from that. One land. This is going to hurt like hell. One perished. Oh, it's one and a half, really. Can I shoot yet? No. All I can do is melee here. Yeah. Ah. Whoa! What happened there? Oh no, there was seven. Seven went down to six. Sorry, I thought it was a stack at 20 for something. Right. We're back in the room. Like I know I'm paying a big price, like five flies for that. Um, but this is our payoff. We get a nice big hit on the queens. Should surely kill at least one. Shouldn't be too bad. Might kill another one. She's uh, don't lose another one to that.
Yeah, that's actually better, isn't it? Now that you've woken up. Welcome back to the real world. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty useless. Okay, that's the end of it. Fifteen boys left, though. down to the wire, man. Um. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you'd miss. So I'm going to try. I think they can just chase after me. Yeah. No, no, I'm an idiot. I didn't even, I didn't even see that. There's no, there's no attack there. I didn't have an attack. Interestingly, he didn't attack. Wow. Well, First aid tent's actually being a pain in my backside as well. Like, what if I cast weakness here and then wyverns into him there? I give myself a chance of getting his shooting back again. Yeah, it's a decent result. Yeah, but I can't think what else to do, so I'm just going to do that. It's not time to flee yet, because I'm not... If I kill him, she'll walk there, and then kill me. If I hold my ground, she kills me, the warriors run for it. And I maybe have a chance. I think my only option is to um, see if the AI makes a mistake and shoots the... Oh, the Ballista killed it? Well, there's really no hope now, is there? Alright, there's no hope, so we'll just do this. Look at that, no melee penalty. Five of them are able to... Two Nagas, man. Will I get another turn if I do this? How many five perished last time? So I'm gonna gamble. No, I didn't kill one anyway. in shame. That is shameful. Uh, not a happy camper. Northwestern regions is where the Grail is. Everyone remember that. Um, I guess like I'll buy those idiots. Well, uh, we kind of traded armies there. I, I felt like I was I had the advantage and I lost the 2,500 gold. I guess it wasn't too bad. Um... If he comes down and cracks her, she won't have any spell points, but I'll have the Citadel, which will be more than enough. So, yeah. Alright, can't win them all. Now, what did I decide? That was a sidecar. That wasn't even the main main storyline. That wasn't. That was a side quest. What the heck was going on over here? Do we remember what I was actually going to do? Grab these elementals. She's going to come galloping down, give you the stuff, so she'll do that first. I'd love to give her the 50 spell points. Do I want to waste a turn and stay the night? I could always do that over here.
Come on down, babe. Rapture. Take the Conflux stuff. And that's the core of what we're going to use to kill the Black Knights. Or the Dread Knights. Now, in addition, you have no spell power, but neither do I. You can't blind a Black Knight. So I'm going to keep all this stuff for myself. Okay, all the speed, speed, speed. This is a story about Fiona. Okay, you can take this piece of garbage. Anyway, that can be your thing. Yeah. Happy with this. He is going to prepare for day one up here. In fact, he can give this arm to this thing out. Let's keep her galloping at a healthy pace. And it's a weird, weird little swap over we're doing here. Don't see this very often. How many moves will she have after that? None. Alright. I don't think there's any reason for these two to talk to each other, but might as well just say hi. Take these, I guess. Say hi. Warmest regards. Raksha, you are the messenger, so give me this stuff. Um, Axis of Evil. No, I don't want you to have... Yeah, and I think that just dies. Okay, Axis can wait here for more Psychic Elementals, Rapture waits for more Fire Elementals, Josephine licks her wounds, Tiva does nothing at all, I don't invest in any new dwellings or anything like that before the beginning of the next week, right? Like Firebirds and stuff are still way out of reach, Gorgons, not doing that, right? I don't need to, I need to save my money for, to pay for the creatures tomorrow. That's it. What is that? Who's that? Wolf Raider, that shouldn't matter. I don't think any of us are doing that. Who are you? Oh, still Captain Nobody. If you can hear my dog going berserk on the floor, rubbing, rolling around, can you just behave yourself? Just sit down. Take it easy. I oh, know it's exciting. What's going on? Is he here? Oh, this guy. What are you doing prancing around? That's very, very forthright of you. I'm the player and it's day one. So I can just come out and kill you now. This is another thing that we could maybe think about changing for the next campaign is the advantage you get by being player one. Even whatever colour you pick, you're all, you always have the first move every week. So here we are on day one. His... his castle is full of new fresh troops so is mine but every single week i'm the one who gets to go first and it's a massive advantage look what i can do i can just pop out undo all of this easily right send him on his way um whereas if he was going first um i wouldn't have that advantage so anyway this is a pretty easy thing i just have to figure out what's the minimum investment required to get this job done um you know, so maybe I should just do it because it is easy. He won't have developed any more spell points or anything. I take these. He can't magic arrow him, can he? He was on zero. So this guarantees I get the first turn. Alright. Hi, I'm back. Thirty-one for that. Sixty-three. Uh, he does his thing. <laughs> I'm just getting utterly embarrassed by him. It's like, what? You had three spell points, and how do you magic arrow off three spell points? I didn't know you could do that. And now you're threatening to actually deal massive legitimate damage to me. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, she's 110. Holy, am I gonna lose? I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> I spent all that money. They're just two Naga Queens. Like, come on. <sighs> They're not gonna deal any damage to me. I'm gonna have to kill them the hard way, aren't I? I only have two lightning bolts up my sleeve in the first place. Blind's no good. Get started and pile in. Two, three. <sighs> Idiotic doing this. Josephine, I'm so disappointed, man. I'm so disappointed. He found a way to kill the last two dragon flies. Like, I deserve everything that's gonna happen to me. Can I lose three of these? Finally, okay, the gnolls are actually going to deal some damage to her. Right, so can I kill her this way? I'm not sure of it. Ugh. Oh, there's obstacles in the way. I can't get them both in there. Oh! One points of damage. <laughs> Pika Dram. I think I'm gonna run. Why do I need to run? I have supermen on my team. Alright, there's a dead basilisk now, so there's no point. Now he runs. Look at the losses. Are you serious? I feel like an utter loser. An utter loser. That was that was shameful. That was the most ridiculously bad series of combats I have fought. I'm not blaming Josephine completely. I blame myself. That just felt so bad. I prepared so badly. I think I fought the first fight quite badly, although he pulled an amazing move, double blinding me. Oh man. And then the secondary fight was woeful. Like, talk about a pyrrhic victory. <sighs> Alright. Well, we've got to try and recover from that. Who are you? What are you doing? Uh, this is a nuisance, but... We don't want to waste too much time chasing these guys around. Like, let them have our stuff. We'll go and kill them. We can hire a secondary hero to mop this up. He says confidently. Right, I've got this. Give them to me. And yeah, Raksha can be that. Can be that hero, right? Alright. Yeah, I'll come with you now. And we'll do that together, shall we? Axis of Evil. I would indeed. We don't want to wait around, we want to get moving. What are you like spell power wise? 40? You've got your full 40. You're not the greatest warrior in the history of uh, pugilism, are you? One and one? I've forgotten how much of a disadvantage, man, the heretics. Why can't I do that? Oh, people, people. People like you, Paul. People like you don't know that an upgraded p 
Fire requires an upgraded Altar of Air requires an upgraded alt Altar of Fire requires an upgraded Altar of Air. I can't do the thing I want to do, the main one thing that I really want to do. I guess I could go for the upgraded Lightning Elementals, which everyone online in my other videos where I've talked about all the creatures and everything, you know, everyone loves Lightning Elementals, man. Like, they're the biggest deal. Storm Elementals. I don't think they're that great. I think they're all right. Like, I could live without them. I don't like any Elementals, if I'm honest. Do I want to waste a turn? And by the way, spend quite a lot of money. I have to put, do two separate... That's another thing. I mean, that's... How much money is that? Three and a half K and some mercury, which is precious. Seven mercury. Do I need to? Do I need to? He has no artifacts, so I'm not faster than a dread knight anyway. I don't think a energy elemental is faster than a dread knight. Having said that, we don't want to go off half baked with a half thought out strategy like I did before. So maybe it is a good idea to. This will be 37 energy ele energy elementals. That does seem okay. I also have the pyre available. Uh, but if I do all that, I won't be able to do the other things I want to do with Fiona. This is a perfect opportunity to spend the night. It really is, isn't it? I'm going to be pretty tired by the time I get there. Spend the night, go up to 50 spell points. Yeah, look at it. That's that's pretty ideal. That's not visited, but I don't take the chance that I'll miss out. I've got one, two, three, four, five squares of movement. This is one, two, three. How many squares of movement have I got on road? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can we do it, folks? Is it worth it to get there before Uland? Is it a gamble worth taking? Oh, yeah. God, that feels good. Actually, I had some spare. I had some to spare, so there you go. Right, give me all this. Get rid of this now. Did a good job for us, though, to be fair. And I'm not going to buy anything because I'm not leaving. I'm going to wait until tomorrow, get my spell points. With that in mind, I've got another 10 grand coming tomorrow, right? That's 11, 11 grand coming tomorrow. The soldiers here cost... She's definitely leaving tomorrow. So how crucial is it that I get... I don't think I need the pit fiends, right? Because they all died. The horned demons will be quite... unnecessary. That's still okay though, right? And I could get Magogs and try that because everyone reckons Magogs aren't nearly as bad as I keep saying. Five Merc. Upgrade the dudes. Get these. Leave the Pit Fiends. Means there isn't a lot of money left over, so I'd say his budget's about six grand. What's he got to beat with? So with six grand, he's got to beat. It's fundamentally a game of economics, you know. Got a, a pack of dread knights. He's already got a pack of magic Ellie, so even that's a pretty even fight. Then he opens Pandora's box. He can easily beat these two things. Um. So how would you spend six grand? Well, these guys on their own cost six grand. What a rip off! What an absolute rip-off, people. And yeah, okay, they're in their Storm Elementals. They're Storm Elementals, but they're going to cost probably, what, like seven and a half or eight grand for 27. These are a bargain. 1,200. I know they're weaker. Yeah, if I, if I invest big proper money, and then it's just like I just need to get him down there doing his thing 16 of these are, just, are really really good this feels like a no brainer and this costs nothing 
These will do something meaningful against the Dread Knights, I betcha. Especially the ability to do this. You know? So how much money did I spend already there? I didn't count that. It's probably about two grand, is it? Two and a half? So with an extra four grand, do you want to bother doing something like that? 16 extra elementals to just hang out be on the pitch not really I need this money for tomorrow Fiona needs that money so you can wait another whole day as in I can finally walk on there and see what's in there Ooh, you come across a lavish shrine attended by a group of high priests in exchange for your protection they agree to teach you a sophisticated spell Hypnotize. Sadly, hypnotize isn't very good. This will be very irritating if he takes that gold mine. That's what I should be using her for, rather than hopelessly searching for stuff. But all this stuff's guarded. Uh, okay, are we happy with all that? Alright, Uland. Rapture's gonna come and kill you with... Imps. Yep. Ulan runs for it. Run. Blue and purple are fighting over gold mines. That's quite good. Although I worry the blue's winning and becoming stronger, but Fiona's about to introduce herself to the conversation. Right. Let's get the stuff we know we absolutely have to get. Okay, that's looking better. I had thought it would be six, but it really stinks that it isn't. Now the big plan, it's two grand for the extra gogs. The upgrade costs one grand, which leaves two and a half. Will two and a half be enough to do the Magog upgrade? And by the way, I can't have my demons. Um, the other thing I can do is set off and do a day two deal, where Rakcha comes out and gives her the rest of the stuff. He's going to sail off anyway to the sunset, so that might be the way to go, so don't worry too much. I need to get it right, though. Alright, let's do this. Let's see. Let's just see. How much is added to upgrade? Oh, it's expensive to upgrade them. They're not cheap, are they? All you people out there who think they're good. Oh, what do I want to do here? I don't think it matters which way around I do this. I can afford it, but I can't get the demon, so I didn't predict that accurate. I can't get the imps either. Alright, 40 Magogs. They look good. They look mean. They've got much better speed. Um, 24 shots instead of 12 is something. Health is maybe the same or slightly better, I don't know. Um, Alright, so she at 50, she is. Okay, so we've done that, we got that. 